Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This problem tells us that we have a velocity vector that's 40 degrees above the positive x-axis. So here's the positive x, and I drew the vector already, and they say that it is 40 degrees above the positive x, and they tell us that it has a y component of 10 meters per second. So the y component is 10 meters per second, and we need to figure out what is the x component. So the x component is this portion. I drew it above just so you can see it's obviously the same if we draw it down here. But you can see that we just created a right triangle. So since we have a right triangle, we can use trigonometry functions to find the value for the x component. So there's a couple ways that we can go about this. There's this two-step method and a one-step method. I'll show you the two-step first and then we'll do the one-step afterwards. So since we have the opposite and we have the angle, we have so Katoa. We're going to be using sine or so, which stands for sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse to solve for what the hypotenuse is. So we need to multiply both sides by h. We're trying to isolate h. So now we have opposite is equal to h sine theta. And now we'll divide both sides by sine of the angle. Sine of the angle. So now that leaves us down here with h is equal to opposite divided by sine of theta. So h is equal to 10 meters per second divided by sine of 40. So 10 divided by sine 40 gives us 15.56, 15.56 meters per second. So this is the value for the hypotenuse vector right here. That's the magnitude. Now we can use this and we can come back up here to one of these other functions to solve for it. So let's use cosine now. So this is one and then this is two. We solve for the hypotenuse, and now that we have the hypotenuse, now we can use one of the other values. So now we'll use cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. Adjacent, in this case, adjacent to the angle is the x component. So that's what we're trying to solve for. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by the hypotenuse, now we have adjacent is equal to h cosine of theta. So adjacent is equal to 15.56 meters per second times the cosine of the angle 40. So 15.56 times the cosine of 40 gives us 11.91. So we'll round that to 12 meters per second. So now we can do the one step method that we've done the two. So the one step method is if you think about it, we have, like we talked about already, the opposite, and we have the angle, but we need the adjacent. So we can actually just use tangent. I'm showing you both ways to illustrate that there's multiple ways to go about this, so don't get confused if I do it some slightly different way than you do. The trigonometry functions will give you the exact same answer either way. So let's isolate A. We'll multiply both sides of the equation by A. So now we have opposite is equal to a tan theta. Now we'll divide both sides of the equation by tangent of theta. Now if we come down here, we have adjacent is equal to opposite divided by the tangent of theta. So now when we plug this in, the opposite we said was 10, and then we'll divide that by tangent of theta, which gives us the exact same answer of 12. So as I said, it doesn't matter which way you go about it. It will give you the exact same answer either way, and the answer in this case is 12 meters per second for the x component.